emotions in a teddy bear so i finally decided to move out of this house and i don't know how that feels i don't know how that feels it's not very exciting it's not like the wishes oh yes i'm moving out you know it's not like that it's also not like um i'm moving out i don't know hi guys how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing great welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here please subscribe i love you so much so today guys i'm here with i don't know i'm so i'm sad i'm happy i'm confused let's say i'm confused i don't know how i feel i have a mix of emotions let me tell you guys so i finally decided to move out of this house and I don't know how that feels. I don't know how that feels. It's not very exciting. It's not like the usual. Oh yes, I'm moving out. You know, it's not like that. It's also not like mm, I'm moving out. I don't know. I don't know how I feel exactly. But I just wanted to say to you guys that I'm finally moving out of this house. Uh, a part of me feels really, really happy because like growth is inevitable, guys. We must grow and. If I honestly didn't have a reason to move, I wouldn't have moved because I love this place so much. I've bonded with people around. Like, it's so easy for me to operate in so many ways. Personally, when it comes to my business, like, it's so easy for me to operate around here. I've grown fond of this house. I love this house so much. My TikTok family loves this house so much. But then again, you just get to a point where you just have to say goodbye. So, this is... The last night I'm spending in this house. Actually, this is the last night I'm spending in this house. That's crazy, you guys. That's crazy. So I'm just here. Uh, we already found a house. Let me tell you guys. House hunting. House hunting is the absolute shit. House hunting is the absolute shit. And you go through the most. Okay, house hunt. Hey, let's not have to even talk about the agents. Wako kuzungusha and you won't even find the house that you want let's not talk about the the prices of houses in nairobi let's not talk about the landlords of nairobi with their crazy tiles with crazy colors in their houses yani mm -hmm. something is really crazy because you'll find a house that you love and it's above your budget you'll find a house that is within your budget and you can't even stand it yani me disgusting you see guys there's this house i got oh my goodness that house that day in only jambia god i'm going to work hard and i'm going to make that money in jesus name amen today i'm manifesting being so rich because the way guys that house was so pretty that house was so beautiful i got that house i looked at that house i walked around the house and i saw myself live in that house I wanted that house so bad. I took the number, but luckily it was in a jar, and then there was a face B being constructed. So I took the number and I was like, I'm just going to get into this house for face B. Nini, nini. Like I was so sad to go into this that house. But then I sat down and then I talked to myself. And you cannot to like anyway, even if you manage to pay rent for this house every month, you don't afford the house. Like it occurred to a hell of a time. It occurred to an afanyarin kazi, and that's not something I'm about to do. So that's one thing that I'm very, very stressful about. Uh, I'm very, very um, pissed about. Also, I'm just trying to walk down the memory lane. I moved into this house like one year, two months ago. And when I was moving, out, I was at a very dark place, you guys. I was at a very dark place. Like when I look back, God has really done the most in my life. God has overworked. Rent has been due all through this year. And let me tell you, I just thank God. Like, kumbuka what I went through when I was moving into this house. It is literally like seamless. It's a seamless move. I house I was hunt like a week ago. I went, looked at the house, we paid for it. I'm I made um, adjustments of what I didn't like. I put things that I liked in it. I've gone, I've washed the house. Like I've washed the house today, it is very very clean. I've I've left it a few safi safi kabisam. So when I move tomorrow, I'm just moving into a clean house, and it is so seamless. It of course kutakuwa na a few hitches here and there, 
but then i know equal to it is way better than last year when i was moving to this house and i pray that god blesses me so much because that house is so beautiful you guys i can't wait for you guys to see it please subscribe to this channel so that you see the house it is so so beautiful i'm so in love with that house I don't know. I don't know if I love that house more or this house more. Of course, I love that one more. But I'm I'm yet to fall in love with that one. My my environment, my body, my heart feels so comfortable in this house. But maybe when I go there, I'll start a whole other healing journey. Because when I moved to this house, I unlocked a I unlocked so many traumas. I started a whole healing journey. And if you're on a healing journey, you know when you start healing. Sasa una looking at too much trauma zingine zenyata you didn't know existed. So I can't wait to see what is in store for that house. I just hope we grow. I just hope that house comes with so so many blessings. And I hope that you guys will be here to witness all the greatness of the Lord. So when I got the house, I had to paint it. I had to change the light fixtures. So that's what I did. I'll show you guys in this video uh, a few a few vlogs of me doing that and then tomorrow i'll be moving with the mover mm, god see god guys mimi na move na movers like we are not carrying carrying things to kipele up a lot yo we've grown we've grown and i thank god so the movers will be here tomorrow morning i'll show you guys the whole process how we'll be moving and yeah i'm so happy I'm so, I don't know, I'm sad, I want to cry in this house, I just want to cry, I I feel so bad for living in this house, but then again, what to do, what to do, like, for real, I don't care, like, my emotions are so mixed, it's just a whole roller coaster, I don't know, I want to cry, I want to scream, I'm happy, I'm grateful, I don't know what to do, I am, I don't know, I don't know, but what I know is for sure, I thank God so much. You guys don't know. Yani mali God amenitua ni uko kwa deep, deep in the trenches, uko kwa dustbin. He just picked me up like this, like a torn cloth, and then he has started working on me. I'm a work in progress, and I can't wait to see how far we go with this. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is also a work in progress. Subscribe to this channel. Be a member of this journey. I want to success story. I want you guys to be in my success story. I want to say my my subscribers give me the strength. My subscribers made me do this. I am here because of my subscribers. They are the best in the whole world because you guys are. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you turn on the post notification bell so that you can see all the content that's coming from our new house. It's pretty. You guys know me. You guys know me. No matter how the house looks, no matter where the house is, we will make it a home and a beautiful home for that matter. So I can't wait for you guys to see our beautiful home. Bye. So after a long hustle of house hunting, we finally got the house that we wanted. And I did, here I was just going to Modokinjo. You guys know I'll always go to Modokinjo for paint because I needed the house white, obviously. And then I also needed to go to town and get lights for the house as well, which you guys will see probably in the next vlog, the actual moving vlog or another vlog. But soon you guys will see the lights and the house here i was just showing you guys my experience at mudokinjo i'd gone with the fundi at mudokinjo and then i went to get light and then the next day i called 
professional couch cleaners to clean my couch before i move because my couch was really really dirty i don't know how i feel about calling the professional couch cleaners i don't know how, to, how i feel probably give the experience a six out of ten and no comment generally no comment so yeah that's what this vlog is about you guys will see me at mother kinju you'll also see when we went to scout for lights and then the reveal of the new lights would be in another video and then you guys will also see my couch being cleaned i hope you enjoy watching this video like comment and subscribe bye much to do when all I can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long if I could lay down beside you Wait.